is on me. Bonjour. This week's video, we are going to be reviewing the MoMA or the Museum of Modern Arts Ooh. in New York. We're going to talk about what we liked and what we didn't like. Let's, Let's get, get to it. it. Today's video is featuring Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy. She's back. Woo, woo, woo. Yes. And Papa. Whoop, 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 Papa is in the house. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So uh, actually, uh, Papa, Jay, and I did a live video telling you about how we're feeling about going to the MoMA Museum. And now we went and let's see what the girls thought about it and how, you know, we all thought about it. And so we're going to start, I guess, with the negative. We're going to list it for you guys so it will be easier, you know, to know and to decide for yourself if you want to go or not. So we're going to start with the negative. Okay, number one. A negative. I'll go first because uh -oh. I have two negatives. Yeah, she was People... the one that was not feeling it. And by the way, we're going to put some artwork, um, you know, that we picture while we were at the museum in the background. So whatever you're going to see in the background is from the museum. Art treat, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Are you wishing? Anyways, me so... Um... Negative. People with short. People with short attention span. Attention on some spans. What? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what? People with short attention spans, or you uh -huh. know, people who don't like museums, <gasps> like me, um, mm. do not go to the MoMA. Oh! Let me explain. It's a big building full of art, right? You know, everybody likes art, but nobody would spend hours in a place unless you're just that invested in it. And me, I'm not that invested in museums, stuff like that, you know? And she when wasn't interested in it because she didn't want to no. be. At the end, like before we did the interesting thing that she really liked, like she started to get into it because she got out of her little cloud of despair, got out of her little cloud of despair. Yeah, she it's came over there hand. negative too. So, but that's her opinion. And in the negative, well, so you're saying number one is what? If you don't like museum, don't go to the museum, basically. Yeah. That doesn't help, but try, try. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this museum didn't change her opinion about museum. She still doesn't like museum, unfortunately, but we'll keep trying. All right, I have a negative. Oh, you had one too? Yeah. Oh, you start because you know what? I don't want it. We never know. Maybe we uh, have the same. The lack of an inexpensive mm. place to eat was a negative. Their cafe was, Pricey. you know, restaurant prices. I and mean, I doubt it was restaurant quality. So Ooh. I think a little cheaper option would have been nice for the quick meal because it's very big and hard to walk through. Another negative for me was that uh, it is in New York and uh, it's also related to price. Uh, basically, if you drive into New York, you have to park and parking is very difficult in the like around the, the museum. Uh, and basically you can pop, you cannot park unless it's on a Sunday. So, you know, we use like a little app to find uh, a parking lot where we can park, you know, not too expensive, but that's another expense to add and to think about if you go to the museum uh, a different day than a Sunday. Museum. So now stay tuned for the positive oh, because- Oh, I oh, have another negative. Oh, another negative. Oops. $25 is kind of pricey per adult. That, that, 25 that, that's a negative yeah that's a negative but i guess i'm gonna start with the positive saying that it was free for the girl that's what i was gonna say oh sorry i took it you take it take it but well, but basically i was just gonna say a positive that it's free for kids exactly so even oh, 15 and under 16 and oh, under. 16 and 16 under, and under. so that worth it that even if they are disappointed it didn't cost you any money. I only like the interactive things, and there are oh. not very many interactive things. Like I like hearing like the like films or whatever. That was that I like those, and I also liked weaving. Weaving. They had a creativity space, and that was my favorite place to be. Yeah. And sadly, it was near the end. I could have avoided all all this art and just been at weaving for like I don't know even know how long. Like two hours, I could have just been weaving. Leaving wow, leaving the floors are organized by eras, so it's really cool. For example, you know, I think the older eras, uh, I think it's like the 1800s, started on the higher floor, and the lower you were getting, the closer you were getting from this time. 
so the girls wanted to go straight to the second floor basically they were more interested by uh by art that is like newer and so that is great because for example we went also with our mothers the grandmothers and they like the top floor so it's cool because i feel like any generation or any taste you have there is a wild range of choices so yeah to that positive what about you jay a positive uh i think my positive was that you could there was pretty much like she said that all the different eras but all the masters also had some big re masters representation there like, like who like van gogh and yeah van gogh and andy, War andy warhol, warhol. Yeah. i didn't see either of basquiat them, yeah, yeah, yeah basquiat. basquiat okay like the ones we talked about that were like x-rated there is one of them that like it's like it looks crazy so like it's interesting to see what the thought process was so like the explanations of the paintings are actually well some of them are like actually so interesting oh. to like read about so you like the that? description the description helps giving you a backup about what maybe the artist was thinking and to try to understand like you know like the art a little better that that's true that's good because sometimes you know it's hard to i mean oh you we just wonder and it's good to have like a feedback a lot of art has to do with the time and you know and then social social events or emotions and and it's true it's nice to I see the descriptions are good any more positive so maybe overall i mean me i will say let's see would you say if you were a parent should you go with your kids to the mama kennedy would you just project yourself you have kids you grown um you're looking for something to do would you go well, to the mama well how yeah but how old are they you can pick you can pick the age well i don't know but like i would make them old enough that they can roam on their own so like i would like want to go with them but like probably like kind of do what we did well actually we, so you think well, that like, it should I would, be like stay together a little bit or like call, like call each other in the museum to like show them pieces we want so them not to little see kids basically but like yeah yeah so for like show to like call them to like places we want them to see, exhibits we want them to see maybe mm -hmm. and like i just have a meeting point i want to like stick together right. the whole time okay. so, so you're saying yes go there with your kids yes. if they can be independent it's even better what about you now what would you say go there with like older kids because then they can like address their interests and if they're interested in art then you want to take them to the moment but like maybe so, sometimes okay. like it's my age Sometimes I want to go to a museum. And Which is around. what is your age? What is your age? Twelve. 12. Okay. It's like thirteen. So you're thinking if a twelve years old is not really into art, they might not. Well, not maybe into art, but like just like maybe they just don't want to walk around for like too long. You know, like like a lazy maybe. kid. Yeah, if you have a lazy twelve year old, <laughs> then just don't nice. bring them to the mall. Uh, I would say that uh, me as a parent of a child that loves art and museum and of a child that doesn't well i would say go yeah definitely bring your kids to the mama and let them discover some new things even if they don't think they like it That's and, so and nice. walking will be good exercise exactly have them walk a little bit that, that yeah. doesn't it's hurt. a big museum like it's mm -hmm. very interesting it's really interesting because there's so much to see and like we couldn't even see the whole thing and like within when we got there we got there a little bit late but it closes like midday but like it's a really big museum so you'd like probably never get bored which is nice yes on that positive note Niall well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, for that like and subscribe. Also, go also your Instagram down below. And I'll stop. I'm, I'm, I'm too tired to do this today. <laughs> and I'll see you guys. Stop. <laughs> stop. I'm not going to finish it. I'm just dancing. Just and I'll back. see you guys next time. Uh, wait, okay, yeah. And I'll see you guys. Let's do it from the beginning, please. Can no. we have energy? No. Why no. are you like acting no. like you're asleep? And I'll see. Stop, Mama. I'm tired. Redoing of it. This. Just redoing it then. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you didn't forget, like, and subscribe, also go to the Instagram down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Au revoir. Au revoir.